Hey, welcome back to 24 Rooter. In this episode, we're going to go over how to fix your toilet with a Fluid Master Rebuild Kit. Stay tuned, and we'll get at that next. Okay, so for this presentation, we're on location where we have two different bathrooms in the same place where we're gonna be rebuilding both of them. So we'll kind of combine the uh, footage together to get you the whole how-to uh, part of it. All right, so first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and remove the lid and shut the water off back behind the toilet at the shutoff supply. What should be off right there. Go ahead and flush that out. Okay, it looks like the shut off is turning off like it should. Okay, and then next, what we always do is we use a shop vac to go ahead and finish cleaning out the extra water in the bottom of the tank. So we'll do that next. Okay, now that we have it turned off and got it sucked out, next thing you're going to want to do is get a wrench. Or what we like to use is a ratchet to get these old uh, tank to bowl bolts off underneath the toilet. So this really comes in handy versus like a little wrench or a chatter walk or something like that. So let's do that next. <laughs> I don't know, somebody already, these weren't even very tight, but these have to come off. remove the supply line like so and maybe put a little towel down is all you need Okay, now that we have the tank all t loosened up and the bolts removed, go ahead and what we like to do is put a towel down, like so. Let me just move it out of the hole and set it on the lid. Oop, with a little bit of crud coming out there. That's okay. Okay, so now that we've got the tank off, Gonna go ahead and remove the fill valve right here. Right here. This is a corky. There's nothing. They're they're good. They're good quality. Um, it's just like we said in the beginning. The fluid master is just so more um, easy to work on if they have a problem. And then I'll go ahead. This style has a three. A three bolt style um, no, wait. all right the easiest way to remove this older style or this tri gasket style is to just cut it off just cut it there Right here. All right, so got these cut. Let's go ahead and just take that off. Like that. Next, now that we have that off, we're going to want a large channel lock to remove the large nut that holds the fill tower in place. Flush valve assembly here. So you go ahead and take that off, like 
so. Like that. All right, so now that we've got that off, we we'll want to go ahead and push these bolts into the tank like so. Let's turn that around. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and pull those out the rest of the way. So. Sometimes it can be a little tight to get them out of there. Just want to kind of work these grommets out of here. Might be easier to grab a channel lock. Pull them out. Keep in mind this is a Kohler style toilet, and most they're the only ones that you would have to fight this um, system they have. Which is a good system. Kohler's a great toilet. So, but uh, since we're going to be replacing replacing it, uh, <laughs> it's a little more challenging. So, okay, let's go to the next step. Okay, so now we got taken apart. Um, first part we start with is the uh, flush tower, and the way that it comes out of the box right now is it has this little paper. A retainer to prevent the uh, rubber in packaging to get seated or whatever. So take that off. I'm going to go ahead and remove the nut. Set that aside. You want to, oh, while it's easy to do it, you want to get your chain undone from the flapper. Now there's one thing about this flapper here is it's adjustable. It has a you can turn it for maximum amount of flush. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It says max here, and it'll say minimum right here. We always start out and just leave it right on max maximum, and then um, it just uh, determines how long the actual uh, flapper will stay up while. Um, the toilet is flushing so we'll do that leave it as is and then we're going to go ahead nut come with it put it through hold it in place so it doesn't move and kind of finish with hand get it to where it won't move and then I'm kind of holding with my other hand back here make sure it doesn't twist anymore and then we just need to get this a little bit tighter by a wrench than, than by a finger. As tight as you can by finger and then a little extra with a wrench. That should do it. Okay, and then once you get that all tightened up, next thing you want to do is put the, you want to make sure to push that on all the way. That's the tank to bowl, the new tank to bowl uh, gasket that comes with the kit. And after that, it comes with a kit of new uh, toilet bolts, tank bolts to hold it to the, uh, to the bolt. So you just go ahead and assemble those and come out they come out of the package bare like so and then just go ahead and put these on the top. That's the only thing that goes on the inside of the tank. Don't put a washer under here or under here for the tank. This has to be put in with just this lip here of this bolt and just this gasket. So we'll get all those ready. Now the kit generally only comes with two of these, <laughs> unfortunately. The Fluid Master brand only comes with two, but they do give you extra parts for if you have a three bolt setup. So what we have done is we've kind of saved one, uh, another, an extra one that's still good, same size with a head. 
And that's, that's what we'll do next. We'll go ahead and just kind of put these in place. And of course, now you're just going to put these bolts in. Make sure that around the, the edges it's nice and clean. and put the underneath you want to put the washer and the nuts down below and we'll show you that so the, for this part right here I've got the bolt coming through you want to use the washer first up above so we'll put the washer on first that's the only thing that goes underneath it just the washer and the nut. When you tighten these up, you don't want, you want to make sure everything's evenly tightened at the same time. So you turn a little bit on one, go over to the other side, you go back and forth several times and kind of um, do it um, either back and forth if you have two or you know, if you have a third bolt, then go one here, one to the back, over to the side, and just do a little bit. So it goes down nice and even onto that new gasket. Okay, that should be good and tight. All right. Okay, so we got the tank tightened to the, the bowl with all the new gaskets and everything. So the rest of this, we're going to go over to the other bathroom and we'll have a demonstration to show you how to, from inside the toilet, the next things you want to do to finish it up. All right. So let's go over there now. Uh, once you put this fill valve in, you kind of want, always want to have the, um, the outlet for the fill tube pointing at kind of away towards the back. Then you just hook this up right here. Push that on really good. So that it doesn't come off. You want to make sure that's on all the way. And then we'll come back over here. You'll notice that the air gap. Oops, see, I did it backwards too. We want that air gap like so, so that it matches up right there. Now you also want to make sure that your chain doesn't have extra, too much extra chain. So the way we do that, now come up here, is we remove this clip Now what we want is only a little bit of slack in that chain between where it hooks up and in this case we're going to have to add a little more. Okay so now we have very little gap but you'll notice we have this excess of chain. So we want to snip those off with dikes so that it doesn't accidentally go out underneath and get trapped underneath the flapper. See how that's flying around in there? So it doesn't go accidentally go down and get trapped underneath something underneath that flapper. So what we'll do is we'll cut the excess off of that. And we'll leave about an inch of extra. Of course, it's going to fight us. There we go. Okay, so now that we have the chain adjusted, we just want to go ahead and push down the trip lever to make sure it's pulling it all the way up. 
and it's going down. And we should be good to go there. So when you're adjusting this fluid master, you want to make sure that the top uh, where you make your setting is as close to the top of the tank as possible. And then go ahead and lock it in place. Alright, so before you hook the supply up, it's always a good idea to have a Tupperware like so. And go ahead and bleed the line out just a little bit. make sure that new water coming into that brand new fill valve is good and clean which in this case it shows that it is and now we'll just go ahead and hook the supply line back up make sure to get it on there nice and straight Tighten it up with a wrench, a little extra, more than, more than hand tight. Get that sealed pretty good. Like so. Another thing to keep in mind, if your toilet um, supply stop is one of these that turns repeatedly, um, then you would also want to make sure it's opened all the way up till it stops and you would also want to make sure to tighten up this nut right here which is the packing just a little bit to make sure it doesn't leak over time because sometimes with this style when you open and close these it loosens up and then the next thing you know, in a few days, you've got a little drip. So you just want to make sure to tighten that up. Okay, so once it refills, you'll notice the water is down here. And um, it's about two inches away from the top. So what we're going to do next is we're going to adjust that to where it's within about three-eighths of the top. And to do that, we go over here to this adjustment. And in this case, it's looking like we'll have to raise, raise the top. We'll have to raise the entire thing, just uh, probably to the next notch. So shut, shut the water off. Just like we showed you before, we just reach down, lift up that little ring, and bring it up just maybe to the next notch. Keep in mind, this can be slightly above the rim because the, the hood shape or the, the cave shape of the lid will accommodate this being slightly above rim. So we'll try it right there. Turn the water back on. Okay, right there is about a half an inch. And this is a good size tank, so that should do the trick. Right about there. And last but not least, you're going to want to go ahead and wipe down all your fittings. Here, I've got a flashlight so that we can really check them over really good and make sure we don't have any little drips or anything like that. And you probably want to check back on that in about five minutes and just double check, make sure everything's good. And then you should be good to go. Okay, so one of the last things to let you know is these kits do come with a brand new handle. And on both of the toilets we're working on today, they're a corner mount. If you can see that's rather than being in the front. So, and they're still in good shape and they're a better better looking, better quality 
Not that these are bad quality, but these could, can be manipulated inside the tank to be used. They basically have to heat up the plastic and bend it. And you can make one of these work as a corner handle. So that can be done. We can maybe show you that in another video someday. Well, hey, thanks for coming by. I um, hope you enjoyed uh, the, the video and hope you got a lot of help out of it. Uh, if you can think of anything that, you know, if you have any questions about any part of the process and you want to go ahead and feel free to leave your question in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks a bunch. Appreciate your time.